ocular migraine and how is it different from a stroke? Have you ever suddenly lost part of your vision, seen shimmering zigzag lines or flashing lights and thought, am I having a stroke? You're not alone. These symptoms can be absolutely terrifying, but sometimes they're not a stroke. There's something called an ocular migraine. And while they're usually harmless, they can feel anything but. In this video, I'm going to explain what an ocular migraine actually is, what's happening inside your brain when it occurs, how it differs from something more serious like a retinal migraine or even a stroke, and what you should do if this happens to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist and managing partner of Honolulu Eye Clinic for the past 17 years, where I work alongside my husband, Dr. Jeff Wong, a cornea and cataract surgeon. And believe it or not, I've actually experienced this myself. A few months ago, I stepped outside into the bright Hawaiian sun and within minutes, something felt off. The vision in my right eye started to ripple. It looked like I was viewing the world through water or heat waves. Then came the flashing lights, bright, pulsing, almost kaleidoscopic, and it was only in one eye. No headache, no eye pain, just this strange shimmering episode that lasted maybe 15 minutes. And even though I'm an eye surgeon, my first thought wasn't logical. It was, is this a retinal detachment when I have no history of that? So if that's your first reaction too, I get it. These symptoms are confusing and scary and especially when they come out of nowhere. So let's start with what's actually going on. An ocular migraine, sometimes called a visual migraine or migraine with aura is not something wrong with the eye itself. It's a neurological event. Your eye is just the messenger here. The root of the issue is your brain, specifically the visual cortex which is located in the back of your head in the occipital lobe. During an ocular migraine, people often describe seeing flashing or flickering lights, zigzag or fortification lines, blurry or blind spots that grow over time, a shimmering C-shaped light that moves slowly across the vision, or temporary vision loss in one or both eyes. The key is that these visual changes typically develop gradually over 10 to 20 minutes and then often resolve without any residual pain or headache. So what causes it? The current theory is something called cortical spreading depression. This is a wave of electrical activity followed by a wave of suppressed brain activity that moves slowly across the cortex. Think of it like a ripple traveling through water, but in this case, it's traveling across the part of your brain that processes vision. As it passes, it disrupts visual signals, causing strange visual phenomena you see during an aura. It's fascinating. Functional MRI scans have actually captured this wave in real time, moving at a rate of about three millimeters per minute. As it spreads across different parts of the visual cortex, you may see that classic expansion of visual distortion across your field of view. And not everyone with migraines experiences this. In fact, only about a third of migraine sufferers have auras. And of those people, some like me don't even get the headache. That's called migraine aura without headache. And it can feel incredibly confusing, especially if it's your first episode. Now let's talk about a common point of confusion. The term ocular migraine gets thrown around a lot, sometimes even by doctors, but it's often used to describe two different conditions and they're not interchangeable. The first is what we've been discussing, migraine with visual aura, originating in the brain. This usually affects both eyes because your visual cortex processes input from both eyes simultaneously, even if it feels like it's just one eye. It's typically a binocular phenomenon. The second is called a retinal migraine, which is much rarer and involves temporary vision loss or disturbance in only one eye caused by reduced blood flow to the retina. That could be a spasm in the retinal artery or even a more serious vascular issue. Here's a simple way to tell the difference. During the episode, cover one eye. If the visual disturbance stays the same, it's happening in the brain, affecting both eyes. That's a migraine aura. If the symptoms go away with one eye is covered, that's a retinal event, and that can be more concerning. Retinal migraines often present as full or partial vision loss in one eye and may last from a few minutes to an hour. But this is important. Similar symptoms can also be caused by other more dangerous conditions like a transient ischemic attack or a TIA, amaurosis fugax, which is a temporary blockage of the blood flow to the retina, or even retinal artery or vein inclusions. So that's why monocular vision loss, vision loss in just one eye, should always be evaluated urgently. So now let's add another layer of complexity. How do you know it's not a stroke? And that's a totally valid concern. In the occipital lobe, again, that's the part of the brain that processes vision, it can cause similar symptoms to a migraine aura. So here's the distinction. Migraine aura tends to build up gradually over minutes. It expands, moves, and involves, and then it resolves. A stroke, on the other hand, usually comes on suddenly. One moment your vision is perfectly normal and the next it's gone. There's no slow shimmer or expanding light. It's abrupt and it's 
often accompanied by other neurological deficits. Other red flags for stroke include facial drooping or slurred speech, or even sudden weakness or numbness on one side, difficulty walking or speaking clearly, and sudden confusion or dizziness. So if any of these symptoms are present, even if your vision symptoms seem minor, you want to get medical help immediately. Don't wait. Don't assume it's just a migraine. You want to rule out the most serious possibilities first. And yes, while most ocular migraines are harmless, they aren't entirely without risk. Studies have shown a slightly increased risk of ischemic stroke in people who have experienced migraine with aura, especially women under 45 who smoke or take estrogen-containing birth control pills. There was a study that was published in American Journal of Medicine that found this group had nearly double the risk compared to those without aura. That doesn't mean you're destined to have a stroke, but it does mean you should mention these episodes to your doctor, especially if it's your first time experiencing one. Now let's talk about when to seek medical attention. You should absolutely get evaluated if this is your first ever episode, or if your visual symptoms last longer than an hour, if the episode involves true vision loss and only one one eye, or if you experience any other neurologic symptoms like speech changes or motor weakness. And if the episodes become more frequent or intense over time, then see someone. You may need a neurological workup, a brain scan, a full eye exam for sure, and possibly cardiac or vascular studies if your doctor suspects a circulatory cause. Now, if you've been formally diagnosed with ocular migraines and serious causes have been totally ruled out, then the next step is understanding how to manage them. Start by identifying your triggers. Common ones include bright light or glare, stress, who doesn't have stress, dehydration, skipping meals, lack of sleep or poor sleep hygiene, and even hormonal fluctuations, especially around menstruation or menopause. Certain foods like chocolate, red wine, aged cheese, MSG, processed meat, those are big triggers too. And I always recommend keeping a symptom journal. Note what you ate, how much sleep you got, your stress levels, hydration, and any changes in your routine leading up to the episode. This can help you uncover patterns you might not notice otherwise. For occasional episodes, many people don't need to take any medication. Just resting in a dark room, hydrating, and avoiding triggers is enough. That's what I do. But if you're getting them frequently or they're interfering with daily life, there are treatment options. The simplest one is an NSAID, like ibuprofen. Then there are also triptans. These are migraine-specific medications taken at the very onset of the symptoms. And if you're having episodes more frequently, then your doctor might recommend preventative therapy, like beta blockers or anti-epileptic medications or even the newer CGRP inhibitors. And these are designed specifically for migraine prevention, and those are the ones I'm on. So in some cases, lifestyle modification like regular sleep, hydration, consistent meals, and stress management techniques like mindfulness or yoga or meditation, they can make a huge difference, but who's got time for that? <laughs> Let's recap. Ocular migraines are visual disturbances caused by temporary changes in brain activity, not damage to the eye. They're usually harmless, but they're unsettling. And retinal migraines, though really rare, affect only one eye and usually have a warning sign of vascular tissues. Sometimes strokes can look similar, but they come on suddenly and they're often accompanied by other neurological symptoms. So if you're ever unsure, get checked out. It's always better to be safe. If this video helped you better understand what you or someone you love might be going through, I'd love to hear your story in the comments. Have you had a migraine with aura without a headache like I did? Let me know. I promise you're not alone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who gets migraines or has experienced sudden vision changes. It might give them peace of mind or prompt them to get the care they need. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Rupa Wong, and it's always good to see you. Bye for now.